The 600 meter underway. Heather Dorner in Minnesota finished second this event a year ago. She was in lane four. And Dornan is probably going to be your favorite. She actually won the NCAA championships in 2006 in the 800, but she only won one Big Ten championship in the two years. Three laps in this event, 600 meters, three times around the 200 meter track here at the field house. What a bold move by Fawn. She's looking very confident, and the Penn State runner is just running amazing today. She did win her heat in the 400, but ended up taking fourth overall. That's Fawn Dorr moving into the lead, sophomore from Penn State. Dorn had been running second. Dorn in last year scored 23 points for the Golden Gophers in their Big Ten Championship. So they're really relying on getting a lot of points from her this weekend, and she just coming by Fawn Dorr now in the home stretch, heading into the Bell Lock. Falling down gets up quickly, but that's going to cost her. Lucky she wasn't injured. Her teammate just went to the front, though, so they may be able to recover from that. And Dorgan is flying down the back she stretch. She is catching up. She is going to catch Von Dor, and she may catch the leader. Wow. wow. She's got fun. This is a gutsy effort by Dorgan. To, to fall in a 600, I mean, this is basically a sprint. I mean, this is an extended 400, basically. To, to fall with 200 meters to go and get up and win, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here's the ball. Up she trips on Fawn's shoe. It looks like Fawn just clipped her heel and she went down just before the bell lap. To avoid a collision. And she is powering down this home stretch, just doing everything she can to win this heat. Now we'll just have to wait and see if her winning time was fast enough to beat the winning time out of the first heat. That's going to be the big question. Did that fall break the momentum enough so much that, that they're not going to be able to, to actually win the race? So Heather Dornenden wins it. <laughs>